Okay, quick tutorial. Delete everything in the default scene. Add in a cylinder, maybe boost up the vertices. And then go into edit mode, scale up just a little bit so that it looks kind of like a cardboard tube. Go in with this, delete the faces. Go to solidify, maybe increase that just a little bit. And then go object shade smooth and uh, hit E here for uh, to quickly add in a uh, edge split. So it will, um, well, you'll see a second when I uh, duplicate this, go in with a negative here. Now we've got smooth here, flat here on the top. Uh, get this to about, you know, toilet paper size. And then let's just scale it a little bit so we can see a bit more of the tube. Um, and then scale the tube in. Shift Z to just scale it on the X and the Y, but not the Z for up and down. Okay, that is the shape of a toilet paper roll. Now let's make this look like cardboard. Um, let's just unwrap that and go into the, no, no, no. Let's hit you, go cylinder projection. There we go. Now let's get a shading, go create a new material. Then go to your collection of textures and get one of your best cardboards. Actually, this is one of my only cardboards. But anyway, connect it up. Hit Control T for some mapping. Go UV. It's probably going to be on that by default, but uh, scale. And that looks like cardboard. That's that. And now select this. And oh, no, actually, apply this. So now select here, do the same cylinder projection. Uh, make sure you're in orthographic, looking at it from like a 90 degree angle. Scale it down, scale it on the X, scale it to about like that maybe. Go to shading, make a new material, hit Control T. Okay, well actually I'm just gonna drag the image in because I have it over here in a folder. Got this texture from textures.com because that's where you get textures. Then plug it in, plug it in. I know there's an automatic way to do that, but and that's the material for that. And let's also plug this into the normal here and then get a color ramp. plug it in, get a bump for the bump, and plug it in, and turn, put this on height, and go to maybe about to here with the, with the um, strength for that. Let's actually just unplug this color for a moment, and then look at it it's not really even registering so at all let's turn up the strength okay yeah it's just maybe add something in between here Turn down the strength, maybe get some more variation. Okay, yeah, that's kind of what we want. Plug the color back in just for a little added detail. And let's actually do a search, add, try lighting. Try lighting, sure. And go into this render mode for this, and it's not showing up because power. Actually, let's turn that down a bit. Go into cycles because everything will look better. And still boost. Oh, these are area lights. Okay, I thought they were sun. But their area okay make that one super strong make this one stronger 
maybe make this one a little stronger. Go in here, make this darker. And we need to do one more thing. Um, actually, let's go back to let's go back to Eevee. Okay, so we've got this. Uh, let's do this. Select these. Go up here. Go project from view, and let's duplicate our material. Actually, let's just make a new material and assign it. We're on the same object. I can't remove it. Um, hit Control T just to get this. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Um, hit Control Z a couple times. Then Control Shift Z because you messed up again and went to back, back too much. Oh, no. Don't need an image. Delete the image. Add in a wave texture and plug it into the base color, go in here with the vector, and go with the UVs. Okay, then change this to a wave and, no, rings. It's already a wave. And scale this up and then move this over 0.5, 0.5. Wait, why didn't that work? That worked before. Maybe it was negative 0.5. Negative 0.5. Ah! Let's go in the UV editor, actually. Go up here. Scale this on the X. Want it to be even, then we'll just position like that. Go back into shading, boost this up, take that from base color down to normal, add in a bump, bring the bump in from here, go to the height. Change the strength, point, like one or something. Uh, increase the size of this more. Change the distortion a little bit. I think if you do all the way, then it just looks like wet toilet paper, probably. But add the distortion, scale. Very, it needs to be very, very subtle. So maybe just like that. And yeah, that's basically toilet paper, except it kind of looks awful. So let's do some loop cuts here. Hit O and then kind of move things around, like make it look less like uh, fake. And that's needs to go up more because that looks too much. Okay, just because. Okay, so here, very basic toilet paper roll. I think maybe should increase the roughness, maybe. <laughs> Although it should be soft. Oh, uh, no, but but increase the roughness, and yeah, I think that's pretty decent. Um, lighting in this scene's not too good, but you can tweak it. And... There we go. Done.